Morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. You know, Barney's been pretty scarce around these parts. Guess his bar tab must have finally caught up with him. Put some pep in that step, Freeman. You're late enough as it is. Hey, Mr. Freeman. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were also having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. Gordon, you know we both have more important things to be doing. Gordo, Eight. you're on sundial and we need you on stopwatch. Up to it. What are you doing still running around up here? Gordon? Good morning, there Dr. Freeman. There was a leak earlier, but the thermal protection system seems to be online now. Those TPS reports have gotten progressively worse. Hard to find good help these days. Yes, about that. We're going to need you to come in this weekend. What? I've already made plans! Oh, don't worry. You can always attend the next convention. Drat. Oh, would you look at that. Freeman actually did show up for work this morning. Looks like somebody here owes me lunch. Well, good morning, Freeman. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. There's a pepperoni pizza in my near future. Yeah. I've got this under control, Gordon. Not now, Gordon. Big day today, eh, Freeman? Weren't you supposed to be in the test chamber half an hour ago? You're living in the past. That experiment is single-handedly responsible for inspiring my career in science. How much recognition do you think you're going to get for reproduction, though? You should focus on inventing something new and unique. He does have a point. Oh, but this is more than a replication, I assure you. For one, it shows how far our field has come since the original study was published, and to say nothing of the modern perspective necessary to monitor its influence. I mean, combined with today's technology, I've recreated- Bah! I can't stand to hear another word of this malarkey. Don't mind him, but here's something to think about for the next time. You and your sugar-coated airsots are absolutely full of it! Creativity is the art of hiding your influence. Now let's get back to work. We should at least try to look busy. Security officer, CISC reports medical emergency in administration center. Morning, champ. Hello. Another day, another dollar. These double shifts are starting to get to me. At the point now where I have to drink a cup just to go to sleep at night. <laughs> Cheers. I trust this morning finds you well. Can this wait till I'm off break? Good 
Good heavens! What the hell? <laughs> you think you can fix the vending machine too, college boy? We will never hear the end of this. Yeah, you best make like an atom and split. Cause, uh, that was, um... That was you-know-who's lunch. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? And these ludicrous penny loafers? Nobody here has an eye for fashion. Does this lab coat make me look fat? Ugh, drat. No toilet paper. Uh, hello? Hello? Could somebody get me some toilet paper? Oh, thank heavens. I'm in dire need of some toilet paper. Just a minute. Remember my days in the hazardous environment suit? Of course, at the time, it was Mark III. Mind you, the base color wasn't so loud, and the helmet wasn't optional, or ventilated. There wasn't an integrated waste disposal system, either. Count your lucky stars. Have you ever seen those electromyographic sensors in the old biomechatronic Mark I? A marvel of modern engineering. I worked on the underwater breathing apparatus for the suit, but it was eventually discarded. I say, that suit certainly flatters your fundament. I hope things return to normal after this experiment. Don't <laughs> If anything, you'll be happy. Go right on through, sir. Looks like you're in the barrel today. See you soon. Well, get going. Knock him dead down there, Gordon. Not now. I'll, I'll stop by when I'm doing my rounds. Oh, sorry, Doc. I have to stay at my post. Did you catch that last fluctuation? It's nothing to worry about. Hmm. We should harness the remaining photonic energy to ensure resonance control. Double check the Brewster's plate's angles and make sure the superluminescent diodes are protected from optical feedback. 
What's up, Doc? It's been a mess down here this morning. Have fun. Ah, Gordon! Ah, Gordon! There you are! Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. Right. Come on, then. I'll walk you down. Eli has been busy making last-minute preparations for the new experiment. Greetings, Eli. Good morning, Izzy. I trust this morning finds you well. Gordon, good morning. I'm glad you're here. These last-minute changes, they're a bit strange to just... Oh! It's about to go critical! What in the blazes is going on with our equipment? It was never meant to do this in the first place. It's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. Run along, Gordon. We'll be but a moment. By Beckrell's ghost! The radiation level is off the charts. If this is anything less than a full-scale Code Red calamity, I'm not interested. Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. Ah, here he is. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially the most unstable. Now, as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't feel Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. Now, if you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, that way we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives.
Overhead capacitors to 105%. Uh, it's probably not a problem. Probably. But I'm showing a small discrepancy in... Well, no. It's well with an acceptable balance here. Sustaining sequence. We've just been informed that the sample is ready, Gordon. It should be coming up to you at any moment. Look to the delivery system for your specimen. Standard insertion for non-standard specimen. 